This is Spiritfarer. Uh, I've only played through the first 15 minutes or so with my daughter. Um, I was actually not really playing. I was just sitting behind her watching her, and uh, it was the most adorable thing ever. Uh, I didn't realize until after we had stopped playing that I actually had the potential to play the cat, Daffodil, um, as the second player, so I'll have to try that with her later on. But uh, when I said I was going to play this game, uh, Sengatsu in my chat is like, Yes! Spiritfarer is the best! cried for like two hours after one sequence. So if that's the kind of game you're into, uh, apparently that's the game we're about to get into. So, starting a new game. So while this is loading, uh, Owen Neffler acts, uh, acts asks, <laughs> apparently I'm very tired, I don't know how to talk anymore, uh, do you find yourself as a game maker when playing other games, uh, you break them down and see what you could have done different? Uh, yeah, actually, that is one of the main reasons I, I try to play such a huge variety of games, is because each one teaches me something, and, and it's usually not very explicit, it's not like I played this particular game and learned this particular lesson which I applied to this particular feature in my own work, instead it's like I, I collect uh, a sort of a, a deep well of experiences that then I, I sort of draw from collectively. Like it's not like I'm imitating one particular game or lifting something from a game and sitting in, uh, sticking it into another game. You just get a feel for what's been done before, and uh, you know, it, so you can recognize you know what's a new idea, what's a familiar idea, what works, what doesn't. Um, and so it's usually not very explicit, but uh, it's definitely. I mean. I am a much better game designer because of all of these games that I've played, uh, you know, than I would be if I if I was just trying to you know figure it all out on my own. So I think I want to stay out of the way of the dialogue. So I'm gonna move down here. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. By the way, you press X to advance the dialogue. It never tells you that at the beginning. My daughter was very confused for a long time, just staring at that first um, uh, thought, uh, the first speech bubble, and she was like, okay, is this the game? Reading this one speech bubble again and again? I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Farer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you've brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden, then and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests, and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. It looks more like an Omega than an Alpha. This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. It's actually fun to play this with my nine-year-old daughter, because she actually got to learn a bunch of words she never heard before, like Threshold. There's no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. It's a pretty shiny thing. Oh. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. It's interesting how they have Charon say the key words in the dialogue. <laughs> the symbol of your status here, and the only tool you'll ever need. I wonder if they localize those words, if they have somebody speaking in this voice in other languages, or if they just localize the text, which is what we do in State of Decay. How highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. So, I did the cat just run into his body and grab a second spirit light? Because why not? 
I mean, Everlight. It's called the Everlight. The Everlight will help you in your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. <laughs> the animation of this cat is just over the top. It's beautiful. Just keep watching the cat. If, you, if, if you're, you know... I mean, I was talking about how crazy over the top some of the animation in Battletoads was. This cat, it's like Battletoads on steroids. Um, hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there's no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first, but I was an enormous spirit monster, so I, I dealt with it. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. Spirit you are the new spirit fairers, after all. Just one, thing. Just one last thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. <laughs> so long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. By the way, I appreciated that when my daughter played this, she noticed that Stella's name means star, and she wears a big star hat. So, you know. They seem to be fond of, like, sort of tying things together, metaphorically. And now the Everlight has become an ore. We're gonna row. Hello, Doge and Cat memes. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so this is Spiritfarer. It is a... It's a story of death and hope and redemption that I have not played yet, so that's just what I've been told it is. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> I like how the camera check this out again. The camera takes its time to catch up with me when I fall down. <laughs> so it makes my fall seem kind of funnier and more dramatic because I actually fall out of frame for a second. Hello. Mm -hmm. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. Mm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Hmm. By the way, the fact that this feet trouble is pointed straight at Stella's head is bothering me. This is not Stella talking. This is the um, journey spirit that I'm talking to. Ah, it might not be that obvious after all. Mm. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairer. Mm. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? That boat? That enormous boat? Yes, I see it. That's the one. By the way, I like the little, like, jiggling um, exclamation point that they had. I, whenever a game... I mean, so many games have text dialogue systems like this. I really like it when a game set doesn't just, you know, just throw in the most straightforward, easy one, but actually puts the effort into making theirs more expressive than it has to be. Uh, the little touches like that actually make a huge difference to the experience when you're playing. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. By the way, true, it will work since you're the spirit fairer. By the way, look, look at the shadow up there. It's like she's got this deer-shaped, vague impression that's sort of larger than her, hovering around her. Okay, meet me at the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Oh, hello. Can I not jump up through the boat? I guess we'll go over here. Hmm? There we are. 
Where's my cat? Oh, <laughs> look at the cat. Oh, this cat. I'm very sad that I can't hug the cat. All right, here we go. Over here. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. No, yeah, so... Yeah, so now she's manifesting as this deer thing. And I'm not sure why she wasn't originally. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spirit fair, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Okay, so it's because she got on the ship, and the ship was mine, that she became this deer creature. So I wonder, are all the spirits I meet going to look like that kind of journey spirit that she was before, until I get them on the boat? Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. You need to come here and give me a hug. So, how does one hug? Oh, okay, I hit X, and then I get options. And I go left. Okay, I expected this to be like a radial menu where I, like, point at my target with the uh, stick. But no, I'm actually just cycling left to right. So, let's hug. Aww. This probably involves a lot of custom animation. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Wee. 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 Oh no! What a mess! Reminds me of your of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a, viv a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. Hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. We'll unlock the cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go, open up that cabin, Stella. Mm -hmm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Before that, though... I want to pet a cat. <laughs> uh, okay, so Trevstorm says that I actually should be able to hug the cat. Let's see here. It says, go near Daffodil and press X and Stella will hug Daffodil. I wonder if maybe I just haven't unlocked that yet, because that is what I'm doing. I tried it before and it didn't work. I still can't do it. Maybe there's a point later in the game where it becomes possible. Right now they want me to focus on the tutorial. There we go. Alright, we've got a map projector. Wow, so many little details here. It's just like, for a moment as I was switching, they turned on the projector, changed, like, the feel of the room and everything. Alright, let's set our destination. Okay, we've started moving. Got a bed. Stella! Mm. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Evernight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Mm. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm. Charon, the Everdor, the Spiritfarers, this place, this boat, me being here, it's a lot. You must wonder what's going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I want to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. 
You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Yeah. Fishing rod, huh? So, am I using the Everlight as bait? Cool. <gasps> what? What? Oh, oh, hold X to reel. Reeling it in. I got a herring. Okay, look at the squash and stretch on things when I animate. It's like the art style of this game looks very flat and a little bit, I don't know, very precise. And so you kind of would expect it to just to not have as much, you know, like, like, uh, uh, smearing and squash and stretch to it. You just, you'd expect it to feel more locked down. They really lean hard into making the characters feel whimsical and flexible. And it, I don't know, it's it's a good feeling. Playing playing this game feels nice. And it's cool that they, I don't know. It feels like this is a game that's primarily about the story that's being told. It's like the you know, the dialogue between the characters, the hugging, stuff like that. Um, and you could almost, I could imagine a game like this being done almost like as a visual novel or something like that, but they really leaned hard into making running around and playing and jumping, having that feel good in this game, which, you know, when, when people do something that isn't strictly necessary, but just makes you feel good, I, I don't know, I always, I always appreciate that in a game. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Dirt and dust doesn't really smell like much. Alright, daffodil, let's go. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you toward my humble enterprise. Ha, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank ark. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right, so I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a load. And let me tell you something. You know how we always joke around the construction here joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. <laughs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Alright. So, how about we upgrade the ship? Okay, so let's grab the blue beginner blueprint station. Looks like I can't afford to buy the next one. I need to have some maple logs and limestone. I'm disappointed that I can't make one out of herring. All right, let's talk. You'll be able to build and edit buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. All right. It's interesting that I'm here with my boat, and then I row away from it in order to be with my boat somewhere else. But I think they do it to be consistent with the rest of the game. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? 
And he said he loaned the ship to you? Ominous. I want to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Mm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. All right. So, edit. Bum, 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 bum. Select this. And then salvage it. So I'll get some maple logs. I needed that. Empty bottle, old shoe, old carpet. Not enough to upgrade anything, I don't think. I love that they give me control before the camera has settled. The camera takes its time to get to me because that's sort of the style they're going for, but they don't make me wait for it. They'll let me start moving around even before the camera has zoomed back in. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Like, for instance, I was um, at the... There's this game called Frog Climbers that I really, really like. And um, I was playing... Uh, I was playing today with my daughter and there's this bit right at the very beginning where they're just starting you out and you can't quite start moving your character yet. And it, you know, it's like, it only takes like five seconds or maybe even just three seconds to get control of your character. But that one little bit is maddening. And if they had done the same thing here where while the camera was moving, if they hadn't let me move, even though tech, I mean, it's not that long. It's not that much of a hardship. It would still feel like a hardship. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't move at all. You'd be so frustrated. Anyway, and the good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm. But a beat sleeping on the deck. Ooh, it is getting late at night. Uh, the stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. All right. Well, let's build a guest house if we can. Build. What do we have here? So we've got kitchen. Can't afford that yet. No jelly. Looks like none of these. The field, the garden, the kitchen. None of these are really options. But the guest house only requires a maple log. So let's... All right. Well, let's, uh, let's build it as far to the left as we can. That looks pretty cool. Is she moving down there? Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at last I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am, but I remember being you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm. As you might have fished a few fishes already. I love the, the, the looks that Stella gets on her face. She's like... <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's, it's a mood. Um, and you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try, for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. Mm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds... Uh, so, you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen abro aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. There's only uh, one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence, and I even cower from it. Oh, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it was always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it you. So there's only uh, so there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. They'll appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. I get cranky when I'm hungry. All right, well, let's, um, oh, wait. The map was in here, wasn't it? Okay, so it looks like, yeah, grabbing that island, 
revealed more islands. So I can, I can go over here, get some jelly, or sea treasures, woods, ores. Sea treasures, wood ores. Okay. Let's let's go here first because that seems to be what they're telling me I ought to do. So yeah. Bottle Engineer says, uh, are you worried about surviving? Uh, aren't you technically already dead? Yeah, that, that is a question. Like, if you die in this afterlife, is there another afterlife you go to afterwards? Or, like, like what, are, what are the rules? Well, look at that animation. It's just this character never doesn't look like she just is full of love. Just somebody really cared about making this this character look, look and feel really good. Alright, we're looking for some jellyfish. I'm the queen of the world! You know, one downside of 2D animation is you can't do IK on the feet, unfortunately, to get them on the ground. Oh, look at that. Idle anim animation. Wow, that's crazy. Ah. The sun is going down. Is that because I'm going to that dark splotch? Is it? Ooh. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. So wait, is there combat in this? Uh, there's something with jelly. Am I trying to... I'm, am I trying to hit these? Or am I trying not to hit these? It looks like I'm collecting... Glims? Glims are good things, so... Wait, that one's too high. The challenge isn't combat. The challenge is platforming. Getting to the right place at the right time to collect these things. that I could jump on ramps. Holy crap. Holy crap. I appreciate that they let me uh, keep those resources even if I'm bad at running to where they are. Suck them into my body. I made no effort to try to pick those up. Bottle mm -hmm. Engineer says the cat has such spectacular animations. I love the entire suite of them for her being on the water. Yeah, no, the cat on the water is amazing. <laughs> cat is so freaked out. Oh, wait, what is this? Empty shell. Oh, it's like a barnacle? Mm. Okay, I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, mm. tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear or hesitation at that, you definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. Mm. You even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, mm. slowly digesting myself. <laughs> It's interesting, so what they make you press the X button to do versus the A button is kind of confusing. Okay, kitchen. So I push A to build, but X works too. Okay, so interesting that it looks like this when it's forbidden, but when it's out here it gets a roof. Oh, what? 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 
What? I can stack things. Okay, I'm putting that there, but uh, just because that looks really nice, but holy crap, I am suddenly much more interested and entertained by the idea of building with this thing. That felt kind of like Townscaper, honestly. Didn't it? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go look up Townscaper. I've got a video on it, but you can, you know, find videos of it everywhere. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool little procedural town building tool. Lovely kitchen. I agree, it's pretty. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that, that have been hanging around my pockets. Uh, you don't look like you have pockets, so I don't know where you got that corn, but I'm disturbed. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Wait, you want to talk to me again? Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or some technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm. You'll wake uh, you'll wake up refreshed and ready to get uh, ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm. You can ring that big bell up there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Mm. Have a good night. So, yeah, let's cook. Wait a minute. So, okay, we got mysterious recipes. A good number of them. Wait a minute. Okay, so... How do I... Okay, okay I stick it in there. And then I cook it. And now I've got an oven bed. Okay, cool. We got popcorn. That's nice. What else do we have? Wood. Hmm. Let's cook some herring. Let take longer. Yes, the herring takes significantly longer. Oh. Hey, can I just chill near you and hold my cat? You look you look really tired. Yeah, this is a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, let's go. Well, while that herring is cooking, maybe I will take a nap. Sleep until morning? Yes. You know, having a really coherent day and night cycle and, like, an official time when the player can sort of, like, take stock of their day and and everything, that's... It's a really useful thing that uh, that we've kind of... that we don't offer in State of Decay 2, and maybe we should, you know, emphasize those transition moments a lot more so the player can, get, can really get a sense of what they're accomplishing instead of it sort of just passing by in the background. And we'll be to talk of the clock and trajectory display on and off. I don't know what they mean by trajectory display, but... Alright, so I'm assuming... Yes. I suddenly started worrying that they would be ruined because I left them going too long, but it would suck if I had to just sit there and wait the whole time. Okay, let's cook that corn. And let's see if this goes around twice or just once. Looks like just once. Right, I've cooked everything I can. I don't know when people would eat it necessarily. So, okay, looks like she's still sleeping. So let's try this. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. 
Hmm. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Hmm. So actually, the fish is worse than the popcorn. I expected the popcorn to be the worst one. Let's give her that. Well, I won't die just yet. What? She looks like she's eating a cake. I guess that's one of the problems with uh, 2D animation. You know, you can't just put, you can't just attach things to people's hands quite as easily and just make them do whatever you want. You gotta draw the cake. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. It's not like you can't do that. Actually, you could put, you can attach things to their hands and stuff like that. But I guess in this case, they want to just animate the kind of food that she, you know, would be in character eating. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Mm -hmm. As for me, I'm sure you'll remember that I've always loved comfort food. Okay, so comfort is a style of food. I assumed that it was some kind of, like, added benefit. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Mm -hmm. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but... An OBOL, or OBOL, is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew of that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there's both a field and a garden blueprint, mm -hmm. which means you can grow many different things, and turn this ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should have a field first, mm -hmm. in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you, need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. All right. Hmm. Where am I going? To the map. Find the map, find the map, find the map, find the map. Oh, Sengetsu says she means twice in a row, not just twice. So apparently I can feed her popcorn again. I just have to feed her something else in between. I can't feed her the same thing. I can't just spam the same thing. Okay, well, before I go to that new island, I can't miss collectibles. Collectibles are my life. It's pretty cool how they, like, mold these things together. Oh, yeah. Barlet Engineer says, uh, prevents you from just giving them their favorite food item every time. Yeah, no, I agree. That, that makes a lot of sense. Because would, you would just get into a habit of just spamming the same thing with the same people again and again. It would get boring. But now you have to come up with a more complex scheme where, you know, even though you could repeat the more complex scheme, at least it's more complex and you have to keep track of it. Because just giving the player just a minimal amount of mental work to do can make something feel more meaningful and interesting than if you just do everything for them and make it simple. Oh, wait, do I need to play... Okay, so when we leave the boat, it stops. Okay, so that's a good thing. Alright, was it just the one crate? Do I need to sit through more of this? Until another tra crate comes? It looks like it stopped, so maybe that means we're done for now. Yeah, it looks like I'm not here at all. Okay, let's let's grab another one real quick. So you got to says dive in the shinies. So I'm betting the reason they stop the boat as soon as I get out of it was so they wouldn't have to deal with the boat leaving me behind. 
like if they stop, you know, if they didn't stop this sort of like back constant backwards motion of the water, then it would look really weird for for me to just be floating next to the boat, like this. Yeah, see, so I drift back a little bit, but that that would be a lot if I just had to keep doing it. So they stop the boat, I think, because they don't want to deal with that problem. Right, looking for some crates. So can I see my ongoing progress in the uh, map room? Oh yeah, I really am just going to a place and taking my time to get there. Huh. Interesting. Just that whatever amount of time it takes on the map is how long I'll be hanging out on this boat watching it, watching it happen. Sengatsu says that there's uh, other times in the game where you actually have to dive to collect collectibles. Okay, looks like something's coming. Yay, thingies! Okay, we got seeds and turnips and stuff. But she actually wanted me to go somewhere else. So let's head up here. Alright, well, it's super late at night. <sighs> so maybe while we're on the way there, I'll just take it out. I've only played two games tonight, though, and I really need to play four if I'm going to have videos for every day this week. So hopefully after this I'll be able to find a game that's got some action to it to wake myself up again. Hmm. So it does look like that map actually is a, like a projection of the real map UI that I was using, because you can see sort of... If you look really close, you can see the line of my um, my travel route connecting the two bubbles. Oh, so I wonder if my boat's going to push back the... Yeah, it looks like it is pushing back the uh, Fog of War there. I was wondering about that. If the Fog of War only got pushed back when I actually arrived at Islands... Or if it was actually going to move with my character as I moved around the map, on the, you know, as my boat sailed around the map. But I guess it's the latter. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. This is a really comfy chair. Hmm. there. Okay, here we go. I really hope if you're watching this later on YouTube that you just skipped that part. <laughs> okay, looks like we're at a place. Mostain? 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 Probably Mostain Cove. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. So, like this. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, I just realized because of where I am, you can't see the cute little cat animations on the loading screen. I'll have to move next time. What a majestic tree! Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. <laughs> nice. Kinda like Battletoads, actually. Just introducing weird little mechanics willy-nilly. Well done. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. These smaller trees are just not ready for it. Okay, so part of the challenge is finding the big trees. The cat is dangling from the saw. Hold it again. Okay. So I was just late. Let it explain that. There we go. Is there more? Looks like not. I feel like I need to check. Oh wait, no, it's not here. I think I might have chopped down the only trees I can chop down. You got any opinions? getting pretty sleepy here. Okay, view active requests. Build a field. Okay, what do I need for this field? Oh, that makes sense. Me the log and milestone. And milestone. <laughs> Limestone. Now same letters. Okay, so I actually could have... Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's edit. Let's put this one on top. And then build. And again, like whether I need to press the X button or the A button on a given thing is kind of confusing. I've seen more confusing things. you go. There she is. A field! Mm -hmm. Ha! It's better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all I have to do is f uh, plant field seeds in there. <laughs> So, uh, my daughter's watching now from the, uh, uh, from the chat. Hi, Calliope. How are you doing? I hope you get enough sleep tonight. I'm already getting really, really tired. 
Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in, f in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. I would... I would kill a plastic... I would kill a plastic cactus. I would kill a plastic plastic cactus. That's a hard th sentence to say, especially with red inflection. Anyway, uh, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore special in specializes in seeds. Mm -hmm. He set up shot in, hum uh, in Hummingburg. Hummingburg. The busiest mm -hmm. town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are founders of Raccoon Incorporated, a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem with dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want to get, uh, get, want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg, then. Mm -hmm. We just need to find some seeds for that field. So I picked up some seeds, but I think they might not be for a field. Do I... Do I have a way to look at my inventory? I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, shoes, carpet. Yep, I really don't. Okay. Well, since I'm here, let's do some cooking. Doop to doop to do. -do, -do, -do. That's going to take a while. Alright, well, since my friend isn't talking to me, I'll go sleep. Sunrise. Well, let's find something else to feed her. Poached fruit. radishes in there for now. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He's definitely uh, a shark. But his interest has in all things maritime will be helpful, mm -hmm. such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical myth... Uh, mythical... I can't talk because I'm so sleepy. They look like classic mythical challenges again. Mm -hmm. A bit cliche, if you ask me. All right, so. Okay, looks like, okay, I can bring corn. Let's put coffee beans and more corn. Oh, now I need water. Hmm. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Alright, so she likes comfort food, but not the same thing twice in a row. So let's give her some boring grilled fish. Mm. Alright, I guess we'll cast a line. So I don't know how much longer I can last because I'm getting so tired. But I feel like I haven't really gotten to the meat of this game yet. I kind of wanted to. Okay, it looks like there's a new place we can go. But there's also some jelly collection. You know what? Let's go do some jelly collection because I might need that to wake me up before the next segment of the story. Ugh. Here we go. Stella. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me. 
but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. Mm. You here taking care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so damn much about others. Mm -hmm. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Mm -hmm. We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Mm -hmm. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. This cat is just great. He's making sure I could do that. Wait, looks like... No, food is probably ready. Oh wait, let's get out here. We've arrived at our destination. Again? Here we go again. Jellyfish are stealing the light, and they've stolen all hope from me. I'll never get used to it. And a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. All right, you can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Yes. Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. I'll be ready. that are super high, I've got doubts of whether I can actually hit them at all. This one doesn't go much higher. I can't get that high up. I guess I should be collecting a little resource you can get from the other ones. I love how important this music sounds. Even though sort of the art style and design of the character make me feel like I'm just sort of cartoony and silly and, and, and not very important, this music is taking itself very seriously. At some point, there's gonna be like a way for me to fly or something, or some other way to get up high. It's easier to collect masses of these things. Or actually, no, I'll probably have a taller. I'll probably be able to stack buildings on top of each other and just be able to get taller generally. And I'll be thinking of experiences like this when I'm doing it. Go over here. Yeah, let's see what's over there, and then we might need to cut it short at that point. We can at least go and, I don't know, move around a little bit, see if I can wake up. I've got some sillier games on the docket that might be entertaining to, uh, play with while I'm sleepy to wake me up, but Whew, travel times. I wonder if they deliberately gave me early facilities here that would just perfectly snugly fit on purpose, just to minimize my, minimize my early game frustration. I wouldn't be surprised. It made it really eminently possible for me to... Yeah. You know, I just lost my turn of thought because that's literally how tired I am. I don't even know if the words I was saying were coherent. They probably weren't. It's pro you probably just caught me sleep talking. <laughs> and I probably said something just completely ridiculous. 
All right, well, she wants to talk. Oh, wait, I was talking about how the buildings all perfectly line up inside the grid. That's right. Okay, that wasn't completely incoherent. And so, yeah, I was saying that, like, for someone like me who really wants things to look very intentional and not just randomly and arbitrarily placed, having them fit perfectly at the beginning is great. And later on, eventually, they can introduce some, you know, trade-offs where I have to put more effort into figuring out how to fit things together. But at, up front, it's nice to have have pieces that are easy to snap together. It was weird that I suddenly brain farted in the middle of the sentence, though. Like, I am going to need to get some rest. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let's pay him a visit. I should check out how, um, how long other people's Let's Plays are. Like, how long is a typical Playframe episode? Is it a full hour? Is it like half an hour? Should I be cutting these partway through to make more videos? Because sometimes I've been finding that when I play these sort of longer session games that really benefit from spending time with them, um, I end up making fewer videos in a night uh, than when I'm playing just weird little games or fast-paced games like uh, like Post Void, for instance. My Post Void video was short, but it didn't need to be very long because of the type of game it was. Oh, take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. Mm -hmm. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance Everlight's abilities. Mm -hmm. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use O-Balls to activate it, but to get O-Balls you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you soon, uh, you'll soon you soon find more lost souls like me. Like these green guys? Where'd the green guys go? Mm -hmm. I'm busy, miss. Alright. What about you? A stroll a day keeps a doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no, why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick, I'm okay. What is this if not a cupcake shop? So you can just move around in here? That's it? Okay, fine. I thought there would be cupcakes. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Okay, we got a key that I cannot begin to afford. What was that? Oh, I've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. You got the glims, I got the goods. I got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Wait a minute, though. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Good, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madam, what is the meaning of this? My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Mm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses. Mm. Just fair prices. I... Mm. So stop being dishonest for once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Mm. Got it? Yes, yes, of course. I promise you all just my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Mm. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. Mm -hmm. You both look like you could probably join the upstairs crew. <laughs> you want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your mm. eyes. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Mm. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it, or inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could always use the stairs in that house. Some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. Okay, so I can't actually attack it. The X button is not helping me. Don't follow me, please. I hate when people know where I live. You know my address, you'll tell people. 
Then they'll tell people. Listen, I just don't want to have. Uh, I just don't want junk mail. All right. So I can't get on the roof of this thing. I can't reach the ladder by myself. I can't unlock that door. Alright, I got here. Um, what's my objective right now? Buy some seeds from the merchant. So, real quick, let's see if anything changed. Okay, that key is still expensive, but not that expensive. And we can afford some more root vegetables. dozed off a little bit. Alright, I bought some seeds. Let's talk. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. My daughter says I need a double jump. I don't know if that's a thing that exists in this game. Maybe it's something she's unlocked that I haven't. Alright, I think that's all I can do here right now, mostly just because I'm so exhausted. So, let's get back to the ship and maybe that's where we'll save and quit. You can see this game's got a lot going, a, a lot to it though. It's got, you know, a lot of different overlapping systems, uh, you know, involving farming, feeding people, constructing stuff, you know, building the boat. Looks great. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My garden knowledge is just as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spirit fairer, And spirit fairers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here, where someone might be in need of your help. Ah, uh, and I'll bet you'll like this one if he's who you think he is. Go. Let's sail. Okay, so I'm going to decide where I'm headed next time. This is a really good time to stop. So, I'm going to save and quit. But yeah, maybe I will come back to this game later and we can actually see what it's like to recruit new people. Because it feels like I spent most of this uh, session just laying the groundwork, learning tutorial stuff, and building up my my ship, my capacity uh, to house and feed other people. But now, the next step is going to get other people. So I'm not going to do it tonight, but hopefully we'll get a chance to do it sometime in the future. In the meantime, let's wrap this up, and I'll just take a nap. <laughs>